What is up, guy? Or did we we gotta actually go live, don't we? Go live. Should be good. What's up, guys? How we doing? Lanky Baller, Eric, Tegan, Tyler, Russell, and Joe. What's up, guys? How are we doing today? Hopefully we're doing well. Benny, what's up? Keaton? I don't know if I like my camera right there. Just trying to hide all the junk behind me. It just keeps it feels like it just keeps piling up. Landon, what is going on? The Roper, 6969, quite a name. Aaron Ashok, what's up, brother? How you doing? Reloader, John, Riley, oh man, no, everybody's here today, eh? Hey, look at everybody just coming to hang out with the old sim station. How's everybody doing? Happy Thursday. Hey Jesse, I have not, I haven't used a fence since, what, uh, UMRV? Hey Caleb, good to see everybody. Still find it crazy that you guys want to come hang out with me during the middle of the day sometimes. Oh, that was, these puppies, these back ones were supposed to lift up yeah we're doing some big time dairy farming today boys eh? doing some big time dairy farming we gotta sell these other mowers really having a hard time with uh, my equipment selection on this farm Love a good sim. Hey, there we go, Zach. That's what I like to hear, yeah? Never go wrong with a fence? You can't. Fents are pretty solid tractors. This is the 900 series from Cuttingham Mods. You know, I might. I, I'm actually really enjoying messing around on this save, so it is possible. It is possible. But we might be doing some sort of series on this. Uh, this, these mowers are, no. The front mower is base game, the back one is like, it's called like a Novacat or something like that, I think. Uh, these ones are mod. This one. Novacat X8ED. I like it because it doesn't have the back EU warning signs on it. I mean, I see these EU warning signs on mowers all the time around here. Anybody that does these triple mowers like this. But I just don't like the look of them. Obviously, we have them on the front, but this one... This mower, you can connect this front mower to this part. Because it has an extra PTO there, and you can do like a... a whole thing. What are your thoughts of doing a YouTube series based on... Farm tuber. Who's farm tuber? Morning, Midwest. How are you, buddy? Good to see ya.
Yeah, Russell, you catch a lot of you guys at lunchtime. That's kind of that's kind of what I my goal, you know, is even even though I'm doing midday streams, at least I can catch some of you on lunch. Holy crud! Thank you, Aaron. Ten dollars. Thanks for the great streams and videos. I appreciate you, buddy. I do my best. I do my best. Thank you, Aaron. It's very kind of you. Good update for the map, too. New wheat textures, etc. Doesn't disappear when you drive over. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty nice. I feel like a lot of the updates are more uh, geared towards console players with the... I mean, obviously the major one is like... Um, is uh, like animals, like the baby calves and stuff on here, but I I don't know, that's not like super new for PC, obviously, right? Because we have animal extension, but uh, hello from Abbotsford, BC, watching this while in the park. Hey, there we go, Robert. Welcome in, Robert. That's pretty cool. Benny, the French onion soup looked, yeah, didn't it? It was, it tasted good too. I'll tell you that much. Dennis Kurtz, what's up, brother? Good to see ya. Porpoise. Must be a Dutch dairy. Why is that? Because we're running the fent? Doing good so far? Good deal. Well, you can ask for. That's actually a 930 porpoise. The big one. Yeah, textures are a big thing, Joe. You still playing on Tahitian? No, we're not, Riley. We kind of gave up on Tahitian. It just kind of died. I th feel like everybody was just kind of getting frustrated with the performance on this map and stuff, so. All Euro. Hey, it's not all Euro. Fence definitely becoming more of a... Definitely more of a... Uh, American brand. I've been seeing them quite a bit around. I drove through the... Uh, it's called Farm Depot. It's the Agco dealership near me. Over in Ionia. Ionia, Michigan. And... Uh, a lot of Pottinger mowers. A lot of fence. I even, you know, you even saw, I even saw a case, a John Deere, and a New Holland. People must have traded in for, for a Fent. I feel like I see a lot of Fents in front. Yeah, it's, Fent, Fent is definitely becoming a much more common brand in the U.S. Yeah, Kloss too. Yeah, definitely been seeing a little bit more Kloss. Can you really? I didn't know that porpoise. How do you do that? Are you sure? No worries, no worries, Colin. Thanks for stopping in quick. A lot of Fent in that Euro stuff for me, all Dutch dairy guys, yeah. They do. Uh, it seems like any of the, like the two, like major, like large, large dairy farms I can think of. That are relatively close to me. They do all run European equipment. You see Kloss combines. You see vents, all that kind of stuff. Part of Michigan. That's same with me, Keaton. It's a lot of deer around me. When I saw, I went to Meyer over there. I would always. Oh yeah. I, every time I'm over at that Meyer, saying, "Man, I'm always." 
always drive through because it's right next door. <laughs> Every time. To my wife's dismay, too, if my wife is with me. But she's used to it now. Sometimes when I'm driving, I'll just whip into a dealership if we're uh, if we're going somewhere. Won't even tell her that we're doing it. The new viewers stick around for a while. They may get a gift. Yeah, you never you never know when uh, Midwest Farmer is gonna strike with gifted subs, guys. It's like they got pulled out of Germany. Hey, Dean boy. Welcome. How you, how you doing? So you're eating lunch? No worries, Tyler. Hey, Rev. Good to see you, sir. That seems to bring more large horsepower to the market. Yeah, they definitely do have some big time horsepower. I mean, I don't see anything. I haven't seen anything lower than a 900, though. From what I've seen from Fent around me. Bent Kloss, deer, Dutchman's favorite around here. We use deer. Nice, Robert. Deer is what I am used to and what I drive on the farm I work on, too. So, Doing good, Nicholas. Zahn, how are you? Welcome in. Happy Thursday to you. Kloss is a beautiful tractor. I saw one trailer the other day. Yeah, I don't, I don't, honestly, I'm not sure that I've ever seen a Kloss, a Kloss in the wild. Just on videos and stuff. Europeans are far more advanced in farming. You think so, Russell? Curious why you think that. What are you doing simulation station? What we are on Stone Valley gaming with Farm Boy. I actually just posted a video yesterday with the farm build to this farm. Guys that harvest our crops at Fent 9.30. There we go. That's what this is. Fent 9.30 Vario. Going large, getting after. Yes, sir, Squatch. i just switch it up. Tomorrow we'll be back on uh, the 90s, probably. Whatever was voted on today, I was planning on doing the other one tomorrow. Took your role, Squatch. Yeah, Squatch started going small. I mean, somebody had to fill the market. The, the large farming market on uh, farm sim. I figured I'd take it upon myself. Stone Valley, Dean Boy. Seven hundred, eight hundred fence in their ops, a couple class combines holding on. That's pretty cool. Always always cool to see the other stuff besides uh the old deer, at least for me. Yeah, every major brand dealer, several smaller brands within fifteen minutes. Nice. That's a, you must be in one heck of a uh, you know, farming area, Jesse. Landini, interesting, Joe. Never seen a Landini before. What's the? We need a weather update for you guys. Seems like every stream we're always talking. We always talk about the weather a little bit. How's the weather around everybody? Still getting snow, getting rain. Everything just mush around you. That's what it is here. Super foggy here. Hardly can see anything, but it's just raining. Everything just sucks. I'm doing good, Rusty. Yeah, went uh, went to the big city this morning. Got a bunch of supplies for my two catering events Saturday. And now we're doing a little midday stream, and then we'll get to doing some prep after the stream. Spring is here. Certainly doesn't feel like spring yet, Kevin. At least for me. Still feels like winter, just winter that sucks. Wet. Slush and fog. 
Rain. School off today, Keaton. Interesting. Foggy in Kentucky and Ohio. Oh, yeah. Real foggy. Needs to warm up and freeze again. Does that make your working conditions more ideal, Squatch? Much better now than one in the last couple of days when it's died down. Yeah, you guys were getting some wet too, weren't you, Rev? At least you said in Tuesday stream. It sounded like you were. Sweat and fog. Sounds like sounds like uh, what we got there, Robert. Don't you use a nine R? I don't know if I've really ever used a nine R in uh, farm sim. Penta? Uh, no. Yes. Well, my good buddy Tyler, not not Pleasant View. Uh, Tyler, he's a. Uh, I've talked about him before. He runs a, I think they milk 80 head, pretty small, but they run a Penta single screw feeder wagon, kind of the older style looking one. But other than that, no, not really. Don't see much Penta. Foggy here in Wisconsin, but clearing up now. Good deal, Landon. Mud is a no-go. Yeah, that's true. Mud probably makes things real slip and slippery and tough to work in, that's true. This has been this warm since October. Oof. That is a long time, Kevin. So I'm sure you are happy to see a little bit warmer weather. Uh-oh, that's not good, Jesse. Yeah, Penta doesn't do... Penta's a much more Canadian brand, isn't it, Jesse? I mean, it's originated in Can in, in Canada. I was going to say Canada. Anybody else ever do that? Say Canada. We're going to get that strip on the way back. We're going to just... Hop over here and do this uh, other side quick. Other side of the waterway. Lots of JM wagons, cards. I see a lot of JM as well. A lot of Brent. But that's a pretty common one that deer sells, so that makes sense. Right here, we're supposed to warm up here. Yeah, it sounds like it. It's coming week, sounds like it's going to be real warm. Are you in Michigan, Brandon? Morning, Matt. Happy Thursday to you, sir. Trolia in Glencoe, Ontario. Ontario, eh? That's the only way you say Canada. Canadia. Fifty centimeter, about three feet of snow melting. I bet it did. I bet it did. No, we're not running a single class on this farm, Tyler. You used to have a full tillage line. Mixers, manure spreaders, now just down to mixers. Yeah, that's what I've thought I've heard. They pretty much only do mixers. 
Well, they got trailers still, too, don't they? I think they got those DB... I think they're called, like, what? DB60s or whatever? That's a planter, isn't it? But... I've seen... I think that one of the big dairies that I'm thinking of has Penta... Like, end dump, like, silage trailers. Not far from you, Brandon? Okay. Whereabouts are you, Brandon? New Zerion looks fantastic. In Fent? No. This is actually the only Fent tractor on the farm. It's actually more of a New Holland... New Holland case farm. Needed something that could run the butterfly mowers. I'm not sure what else we'll, we'll do with it. Honestly, might run the grain cart with it. But I, it's pretty incomplete uh, uh, equipment setup yet. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be using yet. DB30 through 9. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was right then. I wasn't crazy after all. Pleasant wants some orange equipment. Yeah. That orange equipment is too, uh... Too, uh... Too old. Come on. You can lower down. I mean, we're not running, like, brand new stuff on here, but... This vent is definitely our newest tractor. Jayawasi. Okay. Yeah, you're not far at all, Brandon. And Keaton, eh? And Sandman. I mean, we got three guys in Shiawassee County. Holy crud. About time I gave up on them lighter green... What, you talking about deer, Russell? Can't give up on deer, man. The D21... I mean, the D21 can run about anything, so you're right. Maybe we do need to get a D21 on the farm. That's pretty cool, Heath. First fent, huh? How long ago was that? Going good, Matt. Yeah. Got got picked up supplies this morning from uh, from the big city for the catering event this weekend, and that's pretty much all we did. We got home about I got home about twenty minutes ago, or no, what, forty five minutes ago. Set up uh, the stream, got some YouTube, or got some thumbnails made quick, and here we are. Away we go. Ninety eighty Alice would be a good mixer tractor, you're right. I need to find a good mixer tractor. I originally was running some ag I was running most Agco stuff, but I don't know why I switched to New Holland. Just feel like we never do New Holland. Really we don't ever do Agco either, but Gonna change our direction up. I 
I just feel like most dairy farms that I see that aren't running deer, they just have all sorts of brands. Mix between, mostly it's a mix between New Holland and Fent. And Massey I've seen, been seeing a lot lately. Probably not, Squatch. You got a, you have a stream to do. He does, he's going to want you to come into work. Definitely, uh, definitely don't answer it. <laughs> Imagine agriculture. I know. So many brands. Now everything's pretty much under what? Three umbrellas? Agco, CNH, and, and Deer? I mean, you got Kloss too, but still, I don't, I wouldn't count, I wouldn't put Kloss in like the major three yet in, in the U.S. Not working today. And what if he asked you to work though, Squatch? Would you go in? Yeah, Massey is a good tractor. Definitely is like this more small to medium size, but yeah. I'm curious what the uh, new, what is that, a 9S Massey will be like? Is that actually out yet? That 9S? Can't trust deer. Oh, oh, Russell. Russell don't like deer. What are we gonna do with Russell? All right, let's get these puppies folded up. I think we have some wheat that we need to harvest quick. Yeah, it was a butt dial. He butt dialed you. We got the Squatch... Squatch bins over here. They're my... Very, easily my favorite bins now. Because they have the uh, Thundar script. Is that pretty difficult to add that, Squatch? We got this combine that I converted a long time ago, but I don't know if I want to run it. We also need to find a track that we can put on the, uh, on the, uh, grain cart. So this is kind of our setup so far, guys. So we got this on the mowers. We got this combine. I might switch that out for, uh, like an older case. As I'm trying to keep everything that's, honestly, yeah, like I'm trying to keep everything that I'm running public because I'm thinking maybe eventually I might throw this up on a multiplayer and do some, get some help chopping and stuff. I think that'd be kind of fun to do with like either YouTube channel members or a select group of you guys or something. And here's my gross, gross convert, Penta convert that looks like it's from FS13. Uh, we got a 8870 New Holland. We got a TG210. Got a New Holland Baylor, New Holland Forge Cruiser. We got ourselves a 305 MX. Or no, that's not an MX, it's just a Magnum, right? On the drill. 9050, 16 row. 
Might switch this out for a Kinsey, but that's uh, pretty much the equipment setup so far. Stone Valley, Matt. I don't know if I answered that already, but it is Stone Valley. No, it's not a steer. I don't think it's a super steer. What should we put on the green cart, guys? Tennessee. I'm kind of thinking about throwing a challenger or a new or a newer T7 on it. What do you guys think about that? Should we get like a newer T7 to run on the grain cart? Then I don't know what I what I'd use it for other jobs. I try to I try to think of like what other jobs would that tractor use or be used for, you know? I feel like we have a lot of our jobs covered. I do need a pusher tractor. That's the one thing that I'm thinking maybe we could do a challenger. And we could make it our pusher tractor and our grain cart. Because they're going to be kind of two separate times of the year, right? Yeah, there's the Penter. Take a look at his Mata as an example. Okay. I will. Put a big butt on the green. I'm good, River Duck. Ford four wheel drive. Cow feeding on this map is pretty good. Is it? Did he make a custom feed, Russell? FW. It is. There is a new update, Billy. T7 sweet. It's yellow fat. It is a yellow fat, yes. But I kind of like it. These tires just look massive. We'll give this a go for now. I feel like it's a very large, large tractor to have on the, on that green cart, but. I guess we definitely probably could have hooked up one of the, like the New Holland as well, but whatever. We'll run with this for now. Hey, what's up, North Cape? Welcome in. Bent is a green challenger. Um, I'm gonna wait. I wish there was a Fent weight that wasn't 3,300. A little big weight. I just feel like I don't need that big of a weight.
Does that look like a... It, I feel like it looks too small, but... I don't know. Alright, we gotta get a corn head, too. Alright, let's catch up on chat. I'm not ignoring you guys, I swear. Uh, let's see. Oregon, what's up, brother? Welcome in. Well, I haven't hit the like button. Yes, thank you, Rusty. Definitely give a definitely give the stream a thumbs up. If you haven't already, much appreciate that. Put a blade on and leave it on. That weight's on the mod. You say, and I should just leave the blade on the on the challenger. Maybe. All right, we'll see you, Dennis. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Hey, Stevenson. How are you? Good to see you. Trying to figure out what we want to run for a head for the cat. The Lexion. I'm really not sure that I want to run that, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll just run a 35 foot. Mac Don. The good old Mackey Don. All mechanical miracles come from Germany. Can we road this puppy? We're gonna give it a go. Let's see if we can road it. Uh oh. Here comes a car. We'll have to wait for the car and then we'll make our we'll make our uh run. Go, 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 go. Lots to dodge, especially our gates. I feel like I should have made these gates turn inwards and not outwards toward the road. We made it. Hey, Undying Newt, how are you? Welcome in. What's your favorite bean texture? I'm looking to change some on the map. Honestly, is there any new era? Is there really any different soybean textures? I feel like soybean textures are pretty basic, right? I converted it. No. Long time ago. Converted it myself. So unfortunately, it is not going to be available. So it looks like Smebby's uh, converting one though, so... I think he's got permission from Indian in North Dakota to release it, so that's good. From what I've seen, most mechanical miracles come from meth addicts. What? <laughs> that's a hot take there, Matthew Thomas.
First milk truck I got that farm in gates. First milk truck I go. What's up, Taz? How you doing, buddy? Good to see ya. What's your favorite corn texture on Stone Valley 22? Isn't there only one corn texture? And it's the one that I don't like. I'm pretty sure. Something's going on here. Why is this why is this guy so bumpy? What's going on? Is this the combine or is this the head? Or is it the ground? We're going we're bouncing out every, everywhere. Holy crud, it's it's grow crowd. What's up, buddy? Good to see ya. Oh, row springs. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It, it does ma that does matter to me. I mean, I don't know. I I like either, but that means that I have to base on what I'm planting my beans with. Like if it's narrow beans, I usually use a drill. If it's row crop beans, I'll use a planter to plant my beans. But I feel like most times nowadays the beans are row crops. Row crop uh, beans. Yeah, that's uh, this thing is bouncing all over the place. Never underestimate the methy creatures. That's <laughs> where I could make anything. Oh boy. Ah, it seems like it, Jesse. Holy cow, this ground is just an absolute nightmare. I did add the little pond, yeah. You like it? That wasn't in the video. I added a few different things that weren't in the video. You think so? You think that's what it is? Maybe I'll have to look into it. I know there's still some stuff that need to be fixed on this puppy. Holy crap, Doug. Dude. What in the world? What in the world? Thank you, buddy. Doug with the 50 bomb. You're the man. You, you're, you're, you're the man, Doug. What a guy. Thank you, dude. That was way too kind of you. Is way too kind. You guys, you guys are v way too, way too generous. Seriously, way too generous. Thank you, Doug. I'm out of coffee. We gotta switch over to the Chick Fil A Coke Zero. I converted it myself, Heath. But it's North Dakota Modding and Mapping. You can get it, uh, the FS19 version on his Facebook page. On his play game button. His drilled bean. Oh, that would make sense, Sandman. I know, Steve. That's what it feels like. Feels like we need to do a little bit, uh, some improvement on the tillage here. In this field. Yeah, there are there are a lot of issues, uh PC's world. There are a lot of issues I think on this right now. On the PC version. Even Lancey has said so, so uh because yeah, I'm pretty sure it failed testing. It failed testing uh, for console, so. And he said he's aware of issues on PC.
Hey, Duane Baker with a gifted membership. Thank you, buddy. Who got that? Rusty Acre Farms with the gifted membership. Enjoy that, sir. Enjoy the... Enjoy the, uh... What am I trying to say? Early video previews? Oh, we should why'd we go all the way over here? We should have went back the other way. Do you, Doug? You have it you have uh the twenty two version? Where'd you get it from? Did somebody else uh convert it too? Thank you, Farmalls. Yeah, I'm I'm actually really enjoying it. So I think some of you may know, but we did something similar. There, there was a very similar farm build I did like months ago at this point. Um, on this map, the first version of it. But we never, I never really got into it, so. I am running Maze Plus, Matthew, and yes, that is the plan. I'm hoping to I'm hoping to stockpile these puppies full. So I'm hoping to I kinda wanna get feed and stuff in here and then start uh filling the barns and we'll see how long or how much it takes to actually keep these guys fed. Just gonna be constant choring, I feel like. Feeding and stuff. That's why I kind of want to maybe open it up to doing a little bit of multiplayer with some of the community members that would maybe want to play. Likely, it will just be like, uh, um, likely it'll just be members, like, uh, like members, you know, paid members and stuff. Kind of the guys that I personally know I might open it up to see if because this is possibly going to be a series so I don't want to just like throw it up on a server and, and it would be kind of hard to keep going with if things move forward I don't know just a thought maybe I'm not where, where I got it, but look when I get home. Yeah. Shoot me a message. I mean, I'm not sure that I'll use it, but... Because I have my own, right, Doug? But Uh-oh. There we go. There he is. Midwest Farmer with the gifted... Thank you, Midwest. You and Doug are just... You guys are insane. Midwest and Doug are insane. Thank you, dudes. Aaron, too. Aaron, you've been... You've gifted a lot, too. Crazy people. Crazy people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Far, far, far too generous of you guys. I am... <clears throat> Really struggling here. I kind of want to pull up another uh, combine quick and see if that also has issues. So we're going to do that. No, oh, it's actually insane. I think with the gifted, the 11 gifted memberships that are um, just today, we're over 140 members. You guys are nuts. Seriously. I kind of want to use this one. Do 
Be like a sixty-one fifty. I don't think I've ever used this combine, so we're just going to give it a test quick. Uh, we'll go with the 35. Throw the old query wind system on her. The old query. Oh! If you guys have it, by the way, and you don't know, Midwest Farmer does some excellent YouTube content. I highly recommend checking out his channel. It's the least I can do. Plug that a little bit, because he is uh he's been very, very generous. And I highly recommend him. Just a quality, just a quality dude. That's a big old swath. Interior detail isn't like terrible. So it is still kind of bumpy. It's definitely the tillage guy. We're going to have to get a new tillage guy around here. Are things going in Michigan? It's going good, Fender. It's sloppy and wet, but it's going. I feel like it's something with just the ground or something that's really bouncing these machines. Local beef guy had a 780 I ran for a bit. They would eat complete patches of vine shrubs and... Oh, 788, I gotcha. Hope you enjoy the content as much as I do. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, buddy. Far too kind. Is this auger going to be long enough? Oof, this auger is like hardly long enough for this machine. I feel like we got a, maybe a little bit oversized head or something. If that's the side of the auger. Uh, it is, well, yes, Ben, there is a, it is, it is on the mod hub, but not the updated version. This is the updated version. Did you get a Fent Combine? I feel like Fent Combine is a little bit too new. I'm trying to stick with a little bit older Combine, because, like, Combining is not our main thing on this, right? Like, we're not, like, an arable arable farm, so I don't want to have like a super new combine. So I'm trying to stick with like a little bit of an older, like early 2000s, maybe late 90s even, combine. Like our main focus is going to be feeding, feeding the cows. Your brother thinks I'm crazy. You are crazy. You are crazy, Midwest. You're crazy to be gifting all that. Well, that doesn't sound fun, Newt. That thing is good for 25 foot heads in a six row. Yeah, it feels like it. We gotta run at least an eight row because we have a sixteen row planter. I 
2588 would be it would do good. Yeah, I was thinking about that one. I was just kind of looking at maybe ones that I haven't used before. No, I don't know if I like this one. Why don't you want to dump? Why ain't she dumping? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You don't want to dump in the green wagon. Why don't? Why not? Okay. Like I said, this is very early versions of this uh, farm, so... Maybe we'll jump back to the old Lexion, or the Colossus. I guess it is a Lexion, isn't it? Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll just, we'll just deal with the bumpiness. We're gonna have to figure out how to get that weed out of there. Look at that. Oregon trees becoming a member. What is my favorite food? He asks. That's hard. It's a really hard question to ask. To ask a chef. Oh, just bumped the mic. Sorry. I think if I were to have to choose, it'd probably be Mediterranean food. So like chicken shawarma and hummus and you like cucumber salad and feta cheese and all that good stuff. Ooh, is that the fill plane coming through there? It's supposed to be like that? I think we have a clipping fill plane here, boys. If I'm going to use this in the series, I might need to go through it. Kind of comb through it a little bit and see, uh, see if I can make it a little bit better. What's your favorite food, Oregon? I would compare it to a 9560, 9660 STS, newer, gleaner, S670. I wish I had that. I wish that was a mod. Yeah, see, that would be slick. That would be really slick. We need some newer, gleaner mods. I'm looking forward to... Uh, what is it, Sid? Sid that's come. well, he might be, I don't know if he's actually going to come out with that gleaner, but. Those gleaners are too new for, uh, for Pleasant to work on. Choice for slurry, I got the James Way version of custom moddings Robert and then we're also running some coon uh, oh, don't de don't demonetize me for saying that uh, YouTube uh, some K brand uh, side slingers or manure manure slingers Ooh, I do love Indian food too rusty Indian food is solid I struggle to make Indian food though. I really feel like I don't make a good curry. I've tried many, many times and I'm always disappointed with the outcome. It's like the one food that I just really struggle making. Have you had like lamb smash burger style pita? Um, I don't know. I don't think I've I I have. Benny, 
Like a, like a euro? Are you talking about euros? Because those are usually a mix between lamb and beef. I, I make a pretty mean euro meat. Thanksgiving dinner. Ooh, okay, Oregon. Look at you. Make everything from scratch, too. That's impressive. Yeah, I agree, Rev. Those are those are gonna be pretty sweet. The Quebecy spreader, yeah. It's the one from Smebby that has like the cover too. Chicken korma is good. I've never tried to make it myself, but I've had it, and that is it is solid. I don't actually, but that's one thing. I just, I mean, living in my small town back home is rough for good food. I gotta, you gotta drive at least 40 minutes to get anything decent. Really sucks. Oh, we're talking food, Rubber Duck. Gotta talk food. Oh, so yeah, do you so you put like the uncooked meat into the pita and then you you cook the meat inside the pita? Yeah, I actually if that's what you're talking about. I saw like a like a YouTube short or something from one of the chefs I follow made that. Uh oh. Guys, we just can't dump into this cart at all. What's happening? It's not the combine. What's happening? I'm sad. I'm really sad. Holy crud, Jesse. Jesse Clark with the 10 gifted subs. Look at that. Thank you, Jesse. That's very nice of you. Hey, enjoy those subs. Lando, Donovan, Dan, Sherry, Joel, Rise, Mad, Max, Case IH Farm, Sim Lover, Biano MFG. Enjoy the gifted. Thank you, Jesse. That was very nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I bet you do, Oregon. MRG talks about how good your food is all the time. I don't think I like this combine either, because it's clipping, for one. Our fill plane is clipping. All right, let's see if we can uh, find a different auger wagon. This is just live. We're live trial and error right now, guys. Go with the J&M. Go with that kill, bros. Anybody use this one yet? Yeah, there's a store image issue, or a image store issue. Fill planes. I'm getting maze plus fill planes errors. Same here, I went to uni in London and I was shocked coming home seeing Uber Eats I guess I should zero close. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Gotta keep the growth up, man. Well, 
Definitely is, uh, we'll, we'll do that if, uh, you keep, if you keep dropping tenors like that. That's nice of you. Thank you, Jesse. This one seems like you're going to be a little sketchy too here, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. Oh yeah. Oh, we're we're going to be at we're going to be over 150. Jesse. So okay. So now it's dumping. So let's see if we can go dump into this one. guys this is very odd ah uh, what's up Graham good to see ya oh we don't have any more uh we don't have uh music going again Hey, Mojo Jojo. Mojo Jojo. What do we want to use for trucks? Do we get like old grain trucks? Or do we want to use like semis? Grain trucks or like hopper bottoms? Well, cast your vote. I'd just get a gleaner. I I would get a gleaner too, but I want something between that's like a little bit newer than your gleaner, Tyler. But there is nothing. There's nothing that's like real quality. I mean, there's these. Well, there's this one that I converted. But that's too big, I feel like. See, that's what I'm thinking, Jesse. I'm thinking we could run some silage boxes on the on the truck. And we can use it for silage and grain. What's happening with my GPS cord? Top or bottom, grain truck, grain truck. Grain truck pulling wagons. I don't think any of my grain trucks have a hitch that I could put a wagon behind, but that would be kind of cool. Get an R series, Ken Wobblers. Grain truck and wagon. purpose that's what I'm thinking Jesse that is what I'm thinking so I'm thinking we'll probably end up going with a straight truck like Jesse said put some silage boxes on that puppy like maybe I mean, we gotta we gotta go with the international, right? I don't like that visor. We're just gonna go with like a light beige color. I always do this. We'll keep the inside red. <laughs> Older Sierra New Holland, I think there's one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is you talking? You talking this guy? It's 
Somebody did this one up too. You could get this R series. I feel like that would be a pretty good fit. I just hate the blue windows. I don't know how well it actually runs. It just like looks very out of date. Like it really needs new tires. Big time. Um, are you talking this guy? This would be a good one. But I feel like it's just, it's kind of too big. The Mac X2 will pull a trailer. Oh, will it really? I think we're going to go, I'm going to go unrealistic. Never going unrealistic. Put a ladder on it. Oh. See, with like a darker red. Yeah, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want, boys. It's a, it's a tough it's a tough choice. I'm really picky when it comes to my equipment. Does it Heath? You've used that R series? Should we give it a should we give it a try while we're here out here testing combines out? Older green box. I don't know if we have an older green box there. Hey, we'll see you, Jesse. Thank you for the uh, 10 gifted subs, man. I really appreciate you. Very kind of you. Just stopped in for a minute. No worries, Monty. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Always good to see you. Whenever you can, whenever I get to see you. I feel like this auger is just so high. Does it move? It's like so high up there. Yeah, we have a lot to figure out here. What we really want to run. Dual purpose gun wobbler with a hydraulic setup can go a long way with grain and silage. I bet it can. Try this gleaner. R sixty five. Just put some standards on there. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, good thing that we, uh, most of our, most of our, uh, corn that we're going to be doing is going to be chopped. Large scale dairy, yes sir. You betcha. Anybody ever feel like it's weird that it says additional monitor and it's actually related to your rain tank? Yeah, it's more up. Uh, it's more up your alley here, uh, TPL.
We're just testing out combines right now. Cause I don't, I'm like very conflicted on what I want to run. Hey, oh, the bee's knees with a four ninety nine super. Thank you, bee's knees. I appreciate that. Why didn't I put? Uh, why am I? What is this wheel setup? What's this guy doing? We gotta get the front duels on her. Gotta climb our way in there, hook the PTO up. Hey, let me get in there. I gotta hook the PTO up. What the heck? Isn't there a way that you can move this ladder out? Oh yeah, because everything on this one's like mouse control, isn't it? Here we go. This doesn't actually seem that... I don't know why I thought this combine was so big. Everything's just real wobbly, though. What do we think about this guy? Pretty good looking combine. Thanks for the 499 bees knees, I appreciate you. Thank you. And do it more listening than watching, just working. No, no worries, Midwest. No worries at all. You guys do your thing. Do you think? New Holland has your vault? Alright. I think I like it. I think I can I think I can get behind the New Holland. Get it at Co Combine. <laughs> I don't know, Heath. We'll see. I mean, I don't blame you, Gary. Hard not to be a deer guy. I think all these guys that say they're not deer guys are just... They're just uh, lying to themselves. I've been wanting this. I've been waiting to start it. Hey, there we go. There's actually quite a few uh, good New Holland uh, mods out there now. So I feel like now is a good time to do it, Benny. Anything beats the pull behind. Yeah, that is true. We'll be back on the 90s farm tomorrow, Casey. It's red, it's in the shed. In, uh, in farm sim, I would agree with that. Heath, but there's so many options for John Deere and I think that's kind of why you can pretty much get any sort of machine from any any era with John Deere that's why it's kind of well, that's why personally I like it in, in farm sim
Hey, Sim Farms. Not a deer guy. I know you aren't. I know you aren't. You like your you like your red. Do you only have case Midwest? Is that all you run? It's Stone Valley, guys. This is my farm build on Stone Valley. Built it off the main farm, the main starter farm. Yeah, for sure, Benny. That's why I like it. I mean, I like deer in real life, because that's what I've, I've driven, so that's why I like that. But. Farm Sim, it's just it's so available. It's really nice. Alright, so now that we have all these combines just sitting out here, Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I think we're going to end the stream with a little bit of emerging. I think I'm going to grab... Uh, we need to take these off the chopper boxes. Eh, we'll keep them on the chopper boxes. There's one more tractor that I want to pick up. And it is going to be the 8... 8900 case... Is that in large tractors or is that a medium tractor? There's a medium tractor. Eighty nine hundred series will go nicely with that Ford in that New Holland. Your wider stance. There we go. That wider stance. Throw some mirrors on it. Uh, we don't really need weights. Inverted. Those are inverted, aren't they? Why are they inverted? I don't know if I like that. How did I create the pond? I had a mo uh, water plane. Um, a water plane mod. And I made the. I made the uh, ground. I put the ground down. And then. Put the water plane in. Okay, I've never ran a merger before. Is this enough tractor to run a merger? Anybody that's ever ran a merger? I've never ran one. Or do we need something a little bit bigger for this? So you're still, I mean, it's international, it still kind of counts as, as a uh, piece. Oh, what are we doing? I'm just not paying attention at all. Should be good? Okay. So this can change work modes, right? So we want to go right. I 
Ooh, look at this puppy. Isn't that pretty cool? That's pretty slick. Ooh. I like it. It's okay. I should put some duels on it. Yeah, I've never used this Oxbow before. I literally just bought the uh, Oxbow DLC just so I could have this merger, like, last night. <laughs> I knew I was going to run this merger, so. You need 250 foot or more horse tractor for a 40 foot merger. This This isn't a 40 foot, is it? I feel like I feel like I should just lift it up. I need to do like some YouTubing. I need to do some YouTubing to figure out uh, how to run a daggum merger. I'll tell you what, I have no flipping idea. That's a big swath. Is that what you do? You kind of just merge these two swaths together, don't you? Isn't that kind of how you merge? Are you really, Midwest? That's sweet. You gotta post some pics. I need to see some pics of some of your tractors, your IRL tractors. Yeah, it's a huge windrow. That's why I'm like, uh... I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, I wish they would have added, like, an oxbow sprayer and, like, a dry fertilizer spreader. Like, Brian's farming videos, he runs a... He runs a big ol'... Uh, he runs a big old uh, oxbow sprayer and dry box spreader. We're using this baler. Benny. Or Doug. So it's a big old square baler. Uh, but we're going to chop that. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Penta. Penta mixer. Heath. It's a convert I did a while back. It's really not great. So I might go, I might end up using a BSL Supreme, but we'll see. Am I really, Doug? That swath is massive. Massive, massive swath. Alrighty. Hey, 
you guys are here, don't forget to hit the like button. Or always, always goal is to hit 100 likes every stream. We've only done it once. So, let's, uh, let's try and get that number up, eh? Just YouTuber things. Gotta remind you guys. You have almost 40 million. That's just to set up the farm, Heath. I will not be having 40 million when we start the actual game. I will probably put it down to like 150,000. Yeah, I think it probably is, Benny. Yeah, that's what they do. IRL, hey guys, just want a massive windrow because the bailers make better bail. Oh, okay. Well, you would know. You're a. You are a hay guy. So, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, and yeah, I was thinking, if we're chopping it, it really isn't that bad. But I was just thinking, running that baler over. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how that goes. We don't overlap our swaths. We put them as close to each other. Oh, okay. So they're just like two smaller. I gotcha. That makes sense. I mean, that would make sense because I feel like if I'm actually running a merger through, like you're not actually going to run your merger over another swath because that would really, I feel like that would cause some a lot of clogging issues on a merger trying to pick up that much hay on the edge of a merger that makes sense that makes sense I kind of want to bust out the chopper quick and just try this Let's do it. Where are we in the stream? Let's just bust the chopper out real quick. Gotta get a pickup head. Kemper. Doesn't look like there's any deer Ursa uh, New Holland uh, pickup heads. We're just testing everything out right now, huh? There's there's no mystery behind this one. We're not going to be caught off guard with equipment that doesn't work. Because that happens a lot more than you'd think. Happens a lot more than you guys would think. Unfold the duel.
This is our baling tractor. We got the bale monitor in here, even though it's a round bale monitor. Whatever. I was originally going to do a round bale. Or, I was going to originally use a round baler, but... Is that so, Heath? That's pretty cool. How do you guys do your chopping? Follow me, course play, auto drive. I feel like auto drive or follow me is usually my go to. Gotta get this guy moved up a little bit. Look at this. Look at this puppy. We're doing it. We're missing a little bit though. That's gonna fill that wagon up in no time. Need a wider pickup head. I do have the Vermeer pack, Heath, yep. Should have added some uh, silage additive to this, probably. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That, that... <laughs> that filled this up. Oh. So we're going to put the haylage in the uh, stave silos. And then I think we're going to, when we chop corn, we'll do bunkers. I think that's how we're going to end up doing it. We're going to need more than uh, just two chopper wagons here. Just because that went, that was fast. It was really fast. Honestly, Benny, it feels like it. I need to get some weights on the front of this thing too for this big old wagon. We'll fill this last one up. This wagon's not as big. We gotta get a blower too. That means we're gonna probably need another tractor that we can put on the blower. Oh. I love chopping. I haven't chopped an FS-22 in so long. I think Ashton Corners was the last time I've done some chopping. And that was a while ago. Four and a half. Four. <laughs> it may have, Watchdog. It may have. Did I did I miss a message from you? Have you been here the whole time? Uh oh. I said hi to you, didn't I? If not, I'm sorry. 
I feel bad. Is it full? Holy crap, it's full. That's insane. One swath and we filled two trailers. Oof. I mean, that's good because we have a lot of, uh... We have a lot... Oh, we're going to cut out in front of your car. We have a lot of cows that we're going to need to feed, so... I guess it's a good thing. Ah, that is quick. You might, Heath. Yeah, I still have that save. I really enjoyed that save, actually. I don't know. Right now, I've been enjoying Richlands. So, maybe. Well, like PVS. Uh oh, I'm sorry. I feel bad. I hate missing. I hate missing people's messages. I don't have any cows right now, Brent or er, Bent, but we are gonna get some. I'm just trying to get some feed made quick before we do. I don't know, Rubber Duck. That's a great question. I'd love to use a gleaner, I think, but I'm just not sure. So. Yeah, I don't know. I think by the time that, obviously by the time that I start making videos and stuff on here, we'll, uh, we'll get something, so. Williams Farm, how are you? So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I got to get to doing some prep and stuff. And But I appreciate everybody that was here today. That was a really fun stream. Tomorrow we will stream again, and we will probably be back on Richlands tomorrow. Um, but Robert, I would have to say Holstein, but my buddy, he run, he has jerseys. I've actually been around jerseys a lot more than I have uh, Holsteins in real life. So. Oh, what will be my choice? I thought you were asking, like, real life. So, there is no jerseys, is there? There's just Swiss browns. I think. It's just Swiss browns. But you could, you could say that those are jerseys. Where's the... There's a load trigger. Reva, Ethan, hello. Sorry that I'm 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 leaving you. I'm leaving you. So, all right, guys, I'm out. Thank you to everybody. Thank you to Midwest Farmer for the gifted memberships. Thank you to Doug for the massive fifty bomb. Thank you to Jesse for the gifted do or the gifted subs. Oregon, thanks for joining. Aaron. Thanks for the ten dollars. I hope I didn't leave anybody out. I massively apologize if I did. You guys are incredible. Thank you, thank you so much for hanging out today. Jesse Bees Knees with the four ninety nine. Thank you, Duane with the gifted one. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. So we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good Thursday. Enjoy yourself.